Okay, this is the sixth in a series of videos that I've been posting to YouTube to supplement some tutorials that I've posted to my PFSense blog at pfsensesetup.com. And in this video, I'm going to cover NAT port forwarding. So we're first going to log into the PFSense web interface. And that should do it. And we're first, this is a, uh, you're going to find this under firewall, so we're going to go to firewall NAT. We're going to click on that the menu at the top, and of course we're going to make this a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. You want to make sure that, that you've chosen the port forward tab. There's three different tabs here port forward. One to one and outbound. So we, we click on, we have port forward selected, and we're going to click on the plus button to add a new rule. And let's assume for the sake of argument that we're uh, trying to forward a bunch of ports for uh, direct client to client DCC file transfers. So that that's going to be the. Uh, the port range 5000 to 5010. So we have disabled, disable this rule, we don't want to do that. Interface is going, we're going to keep that at WAN and we're going to keep the protocol TCP. Uh, the destination, now this is a little bit different than what you'd see under monowall. We're going to set the destination to any. And destination port range. Now, uh, some of the some uh, some some of the commonly used port numbers are, have their own predefined types. So, for example, if you wanted to use port 80, you could just uh, select HTTP in the drop-down box. Uh, if you wanted to use port 21, you could just choose FTP. But our port range is not. Uh, Defi defined on that list, so we're just going to type it in, type 5000 to 5010, and we have a redirect target IP, it says enter the internal IP address of the server on which you want to map the ports, and let's assume that it's the Dell desktop that we defined in aliases, a video on aliases, so there we go, we have Dell desktop, the alias uh, on the entered into the redirect uh, target IP there and for redirect target port we're going to select 5000 and this is uh, so the end port will be calculated automatically so we're going to we have to type the end port here so for description I'm going to type DCC uh, port Forward and forwarding, and we don't need to change any of these other settings here. So I'm going to click on save, and hopefully, this will create a new port forwarding rule. And it looks like it worked. And oh, we have to click on apply changes as well. And and one of the advantages of, of uh, setting the port forwarding up in this manner is that PFSense will automatically create a firewall rule that corresponds to this um, to to this port forwarding entry. So we can go to firewall rules and there should be a port forwarding entry entry here. Oh okay, here we go. Nat DCC port forwarding and we should be able to also see the rule here by clicking on edit. And there you have it. Port forwarding rule for uh, DCC. So that's it for this video.